Most nonprofit leaders find foundations mystifying. If that's you, this video is designed to take some of the mystery out of foundations. Watch to find out more. Understanding foundations and why they exist is the first step to feeling comfortable working with foundations and especially approaching foundations for funding for your nonprofit organization. There are some facts about foundations that make them effective funding sources. I want to take the complexities out for you and make foundations easier to approach. Hi, I'm Jim Dempsey, and this channel is designed to help you raise more money for your nonprofit organization. Let's get started. Fact number one, defining foundations. First, it's important to understand that foundations exist to give away money. A foundation is defined as a non-governmental, non-profit organization with funds, usually from a single source, which are used to support other non-profit organizations. Foundations have a goal to advance the purposes of the foundation. Our hope as a nonprofit is that their purposes and our purposes align or at some point intersect. If so, it might be a perfect union and lead to a grant to your nonprofit organization. Fact number two there are four types of foundations. The first type is an independent foundation. These are private foundations whose assets are usually derived from the gift of an individual or a family. These are the most common types of foundations and are probably the foundations you've run into more, most often or will run into. Type number two, company-sponsored foundations. These are private foundations whose assets are derived from a profit-making company but are legally independent of the company. Companies such as Wells Fargo, Walmart, and Coca-Cola all have company-sponsored foundations. This is not corporate giving. This is an entity that exists from the profits donated by the company. Type number three, operating foundations. These are private foundations with a primary purpose of operating its own research, social welfare, or other programs determined by the governing body. Most operating foundations are primarily involved in research. Type number four, community foundations. These are public charities whose assets are derived from many donors. This would be a direct opposite of an independent foundation. A great example of this is the United Way. Fact number three, special requirements. Foundations are required to do three things. Number one, they must complete a 990 PF tax return each year. If you have been in development any length of time, you probably have seen a 990 PF. There are a wealth of information on the foundation, including their address, contact information, oftentimes requirements, assets, and to who they give. Number two, those tax returns must be publicly accessible and can be found in public libraries or online. Number three, Foundations must give away all income produced by its assets up to 5% of the adjusted gross assets annually. That means that foundations whose assets continue to grow, especially if it's healthy growth, must give away more and more each year, leaving the opportunity for us to be funded. Fact number four, foundation giving trends. Giving in 2019 in the United States, the latest year we have complete numbers, total giving was $431 billion. $309 billion came from individuals. $75.69 billion came from foundations. That's 2% higher than the prior year. Giving by foundations has grown in nine of the last 10 years and represents 17% of total giving the largest share on record. The rest is bequests and giving by corporations. Foundations are seen as an effective way to donate while also getting significant tax benefits. Advantages from the donor side include leaving a personal and family legacy, passing on your wealth and the opportunities for generations makes this an exciting opportunity. 
Number two, engaging family in philanthropy. There are many couples who would love to pass on their giving heart and their giving attitude to future generations, kids, grandkids, and further on. It's an exciting opportunity to pull a family together and see the benefits and outcomes of giving through the foundation. Number three, they receive tax deductions and other benefits from charitable giving. In the United States, foundations receive amazing tax benefits by establishing that foundation to give. It's important that you understand what those tax benefits are and look for ways to benefit from that as you approach the foundation. Approaching foundations are not as daunting or complicated as they seem. Research, persistence, and relationships make all the difference. As I mentioned, getting in line, staying in line, and get to the head of the line is very important. Understanding who foundations are and why they exist are important and are fundamental in the process of approaching foundations for funding for your nonprofit organization. I'll talk about in future videos how to get funding from foundations. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you have fundraising questions, submit them on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java or email me at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And as always, I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thank you. <music>